Turning now to New York, starting today, a new state law allows adult survivors of sexual abuse to sue their alleged abusers, regardless of when the statute of limitations expires. A flood of lawsuits is now expected, and one of the first ones was brought against former President Donald Trump. Let's bring in CNN's Kara Scannell now. Kara, this lawsuit was brought by E. Jean Carroll. It's the second time that she's tried to sue Donald Trump. How is this lawsuit different from that first one? That's right, Boris. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Um, the first Thanks. lawsuit was brought in 2019, and then E. Jean Carroll sued former President Donald Trump for defamation. That's when she said that he defamed her when he denied her allegations that he raped her in a dressing room of a New York department store in the mid-1990s. At the time, Trump said that he didn't know her, she wasn't his type, and he said that she made up the assault allegations to boost sales of her book. But today, she is suing him under that new law, suing him for battery and defamation. So this is the first time she is suing him for the actual allegations of assault. And she's also suing him for a new claim of defamation, one in a statement that he made just last month. Now, this lawsuit came under the Adult Survivors Act. The window, there is a one-year window for anyone who believes that they were sexually assaulted and want to seek some kind of remedy under this act. That window opens today. E. Jean Carroll among one of the first of what is expected to be many lawsuits brought under that. And there'll be one year for any alleged, uh, any victims to make these allegations against any of their alleged attackers. Boris? Uh, yeah, and Kara, that, that first lawsuit, it could be decided in the coming months. Do you know if that is going to have any outcome on this New York lawsuit? Any bearing on that? It really shouldn't, because that first lawsuit is now up before a D.C. appeals court. And the issue there is whether the former president was acting within the scope of his duties when he made these statements denying the attack and the statements that Carroll says were defamatory. Now, if the D.C. court rules in the former president's favor, that lawsuit will likely get thrown out. But these new claims are new claims about assault, as well as this defamation lawsuit, uh, this defamation statement that Trump made just last month when he was clearly not in office, no longer president. President, so he won't be able to use the same legal arguments here. Mm. Uh, now, they're both playing out simultaneously. Carol's lawyers are hopeful that their first lawsuit will survive, and they want the judge overseeing the case to combine these and go to trial early next year. Kara Scannell, thank you so much, and happy Thanksgiving. Thanks. The former magazine col columnist E. Jean Carroll, she's now suing former President Trump for battery and defamation, this under a new New York law. Uh, the Adult Survivors Act, as it's known, that allows adults alleging sexual assault to bring claims years after the attack. It's the second she has brought uh, against Trump, as you know. 2019, she sued him for defamation, not battery. How significant is this case under the current law? D does she have a case here? Uh, and are we likely to see resolution soon? It's very significant under the new law. Um, she was not she claims by the way that in the 1990s she was raped and groped by trump in an elevator at bergdorf goodman you know which is one of the most prestigious uh, department yeah. stores in new york and um, she never brought a case within the statute of limitations however when trump became president he answered a reporter's question about e Jean carroll's claims mm. and some clever lawyers looked at it and said you know something the statute of limitations is still alive on defamation. So we're going to bring up the whole wow. rape case by claiming it's a defamation case. And that case has been going wow. on in the courts for a long time now. What she's doing now with this new law that allows anybody, that eliminates the statute of limitations in civil claims of uh, sexual assault, is to combine the two cases. Uh, and I think there's a good chance the judge will go along with combining them all and uh, she may have a claim that she at least can assert and try to prove in court. Tough case to prove, though, Jim, yeah. because it's it's ancient. Um, and, you know, it's a one on one situation, obviously. Uh, and it's a pretty strange fact pattern saying, you know, that it occurred in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman. Right. So we'll see what happens with it. Well, listen, smart point by you, though, that a case where the president's words might have gotten him in trouble, at least open open this case uh, for, for adjudication yet again. Paul Callan, thanks so much. Thank you, Jim.